Hey Phantom, how's it going? So today I am going to be doing something a little bit different. I am going to be talking about a video game. More specifically, a video game console. I am talking about the new Nintendo 3DS. The one that just came out this past weekend. I was able to snag a copy. I ordered one while I was at uh, <clears throat> work. I ordered it uh, during my break while I was on the phone. And I was actually able to snag one of the last copies at Best Buy that they had. Unfortunately, this is not the Majora's Mask edition, which everybody has been so clamoring for so much. But uh, let's get into this. The first thing that I noticed with this is that it's kind of kind of got like this glossy emboss on the front of it. And to be honest with you, I don't really like it because it's just a magnet for fingerprints. I was like, ah, God, no. When I was like rubbing my hand on it, it's just picking up fingerprints. I didn't like that at all. It's also kind of collecting dust on it. I don't really care for that that much. Uh, another downside to this thing, let's be real here. Nintendo did not actually attach a charger cable into the box of this. So if you get this, if you get a new Nintendo 3DS like I did, you have to buy another charger cable unless you have an old school 3D, uh, 3DS or a 3DS XL laying around and you have that charger cable. I don't know why. Personally, I think it's kind of a stupid decision. It's just a money grab by Nintendo, to be honest with you, because they could have easily just shoved it in the box and it's only like you would have to pay an extra $10 or something like that. It's ridiculous, I know, but... I was like, really? Come on, Nintendo. Really, guys? Just just stick a charger cable inside the box. You know, that's that's so dumb for them not to do that. Uh, for the good stuff, to be honest with you, I really did enjoy this. I'm enjoying this a lot right now. I've been playing Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. I've been playing the new um, Majora's Mask, the 3DS remaster, which I've never played Majora's Mask, strangely enough. I've heard good things about it, and it's always been one of those games that's kind of intimidated me, to be honest with you, and I'm a guy that's played Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, I play kind of like all those hardcore, hard games, and I've just flown through them, and Majora's Mask, for some reason, has always been kind of one of those games where I put it here, because it's so weird, it's so dark, and I'm like, oh man, what's, what's going on here, but, yeah, I've been playing that, and I've been loving Monster Hunter a lot, uh, overall, I really do enjoy, like, the bigger screen, uh, I think this is really nice, I would have liked personally to have had um, Nintendo release the smaller version. This is the 3DS XL because this is the only version that you can get in the United States. And unfortunately, the XL does not come with the custom faceplates that the, the smaller 3DS, uh, new 3DS ones have in Japan, where you can like snap on a faceplate on the back and the front. I would love to do that. I would play. I would pay so much cash for me to get a version of. Um, of uh, Fire Emblem for me to be able to get face plates for Fire Emblem because I really do enjoy Fire Emblem that's really a fun game now the battery on this thing the battery on this thing is actually a lot better than the one I had on my old 3DS and the fact remains that this thing lasted me about ooh, I did a full charge of it on Friday and since then it hasn't dropped to 0% and I've been pushing this thing a lot I have charged it in between a little bit but it's nothing where I'll go all day I'll play it all day Friday I'll play it all day Saturday and then at the end of the night, it'll drop down to probably like the last bar and that'll be it. So I have noticed an improvement on this a lot. And I really do think that the battery on this gets my stamp of approval. I really did enjoy this. I haven't had to really have any problems with it at all. You can change the battery on this, by the way. You have to unscrew these things. And Nintendo actually made it a lot harder to change that. As well as they've made it a lot harder to change the SD card. You have to go through this long and arduous process of unscrewing the back and then popping it open and then re-sliding it back again. And it's kind of a nervous, like, it's kind of a nervous thing, and I've heard people tell me that you can actually upgrade the SD card to about 64 gigabytes with kind of like a modification or something like that to the SD card, some weird after-party thing that you have to do, but uh, overall, that's probably the biggest downside for me, that you have to kind of unscrew these screws to actually be able to slide in an SD card into it, and it's a micro SD card now, mind you, it's not the old one, this is a different SD card that you have to slide into this thing. It's kind of a pain in the butt, to be honest with you, I did not like that at all. I have I haven't gone through it, but I've seen videos where people go through it and they are nervous because you have to kind of actually go into the workings a little bit of the system and you're like, oh god, I don't want to break anything because I have to call Nintendo support. And Nintendo support hasn't been the most helpful to a lot of people. So Now obviously the biggest thing that Nintendo is touting about this thing is the fact that the 3D is actually improved and I'm going to tell you ahead of time that to a certain extent it is. And by improve what they mean is that you could actually tilt it away and you won't lose the feeling of 3D and you won't get what I like to call drunk vision where your eyes kind of cross and you're like Whoa. you know you don't get that feeling when with this thing because it actually has like a little um, camera on top it's got a little port there and the camera follows your head tracking so you can move your head around a little bit and everything naturally there is going to be a little bit of what I call ghosting 
where if you snap to it real quick, the image kind of has to pop into place a little bit. But that's just a far cry from what we had in this original thing, where if I kind of tilted my head a little bit to the side, I'm like, oh, I kind of wanted to upchuck a little bit. So this is a lot better. I really do think that they did a great job with the improvement on that front in this. Now, one of the things that it's being touted also is that some of the newer games, they kind of look better on it. I personally didn't see that big of an upgrade of an improvement. I've been playing A Link Between Worlds on it, like, religiously. This has been kind of a weird Zelda weekend for me between Majora's Mask and Link Between Worlds. And it does look a little bit crisper, and I'm not sure, maybe it's because of the fact that I've been playing Link Between Worlds on this old, junky version. And to upgrade to this, I'm like, wow, that does look a little bit better. It looks more crisper, but I don't see a huge graphical upgrade, to be honest with you. It does boast more horsepower. It has a bigger CPU power inside of it. So overall, this is my first time talking about anything video game related. If you guys like this type of video, let me know down below, really. I'm a huge video game guy, and I am super excited, actually, for Bloodborne. And I'm going off topic a little bit now. Uh, I cannot wait for Bloodborne. Bloodborne is going to be friggin' awesome. Yes! So comment below, let me know, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, love to hear back from you.